the look I did not know I needed. Okay, ladies, I have been sitting on this gorgeous girl and you'll see how she looks in the beginning of the video. I was excited to do a kinky curly install, but wow, I am so blown away by how beautiful she came out. The final result is absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a showstopper wig and she comes courtesy of Eunice. And if that's not enough, she's on Amazon Prime. Of course, I have all the details in the description box, but today I'm gonna give you a pre-everything wig install and it's going to be super simple and easy so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look keep on watching jumping right into it as you guys know I'm into the brown wig caps again no longer into the HD for now but this is the beautiful wig straight out of the box as I mentioned this is from Eunice and it is on Amazon Prime so you can literally receive this wig in like 24 to 48 hours how awesome is that this is a look at the hairline as well as the inside construction of the cap this is a free part wig so you can definitely part her how do you like we're gonna go for a center part today, but you could do half up, half down, or side parts. And this is a look at the nape. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on, and you can also notice that they included the grip ear tabs, which I love so much. I don't know the specific name for it, but it's like a peel and stick situation where you can wear your wig glueless, and all you have to do is peel and stick the ear tabs on the side and literally it'll be bonded down and good to go. Here I am also showing you different ways to wear the wig. The lace is absolutely flawless so you can definitely get away with a side part or even a half up half down. Also you guys can see the hairline is nice and pre-plucked to perfection. I wanted to give you guys a look at the back. If you're interested in this wig I want to make sure that you have a good full scope of what this looks like and what to expect when you receive your packaging. But enough of that let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm such an empath. I am watching something on Instagram and it's so amazing how you find all these great videos and something random will pop up and literally I'm crying. I don't even know why. I'm just crying. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the dynamic duo. This step here is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. Now you guys already know I love this step because even though we're going with a wet and curly look, this gives me more of a snatched salon finish. I can't really explain it, but it really does just give a finished look. Here's a before and after on side by side and I did the opposite side off camera. From here we're going to go ahead and pull and snatch our edges back. Not literally but we want to make sure that they are nice and secure and like you know tamed so that they don't protrude and our lace will lay super flat. Now that we have everything ready to go we're going to pull the hair back and we're going to proceed to utilize the technology that I mentioned. Now this here is the peel and stick ear tabs where you literally peel off the back and it becomes sticky. You can apply a little bit of adhesive on top just so that anything around that area can also bond down and from here you literally just press and hold it in. You can blow dry it to really really get it sticky and then look it's bonded down and you don't have to do anything else. Now I have done these pill and stick ear tabs a few times with Eunice on my channel and I've showed you guys in previous videos how to apply this without adding any extra adhesive and you will see that this one definitely will fit glueless without adding anything extra. The reason I'm adding a little bit of my non-glue adhesive is simply so that anything in front of or around those sticky ear tabs will bond down as well for a flawless and more long-term hold. Now again I'm blowing drying it down and then once it's bonded down we're going to go ahead and melt the hairline down so that everything looks nice and flawless. But before we do that we're also going to add a little bit of baby hair just because I feel like when you have those ear tabs it definitely helps the wig to remain bonded down a lot longer. I'm going to give you like a tighter install if that makes any sense. So whenever I have this option I definitely like to utilize it and do nice thick full sideburns because I love the way that looks but again if they're going to lift it doesn't look as good but Eunice has our back and they have this technology that's going to help it to last. So from here I'm just going in and deciding how I want to do my baby hair. I'm using the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and it definitely is giving me a snatched look. You can definitely skip this step if you're not into baby hair and you can still do the sideburns or you can push it back. But again I just like the fact that I have a nice frontal install and I don't have to worry about you know being insecure about my ear tabs or the lace on the sides lifting. And again I'm going to use as many heat passes 
paired with that wax stick as much as possible to really get the look I'm going for. Here I decided that there was like a little piece missing. There was like a swoop at the top and then the side branch at the bottom and then it was bare in between. So I did go in and just add a little swoop right here. And I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side, just making sure everything matches up. As you guys can see, the left side definitely is a little bit thicker, but that is definitely something we can fix later down the road. Now that we have it exactly how we like it, I'm going to go ahead and melt the lace with a Eunice melt belt. And here I am just detangling with the unbrush. I went ahead and just really combed it out and it honestly didn't have any tangles or any issues. I just like to do this before I go in and wet it down. That way I can kind of like custom curl the hair myself. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I like to go in and just really wet it down and use like the unbrush or the dimming brush to really clump the curls so that they don't give like straight out of the box and they can give more of a natural look. And I'm giving you a close-up of what the curls look like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here is a before and after. And I like to be versatile with my wig. So keep in mind when you have a wig and then like Halloween or like an event is coming up, you can definitely shape your wigs in different ways to give the look and vibe without having to go out and buy something new. Today we're going with this coily custard and I'm giving you a close-up of the, the texture of the product. And I like to use a little bit of a product, even though the hair already looks perfect, just so that it gives the elements and the Throughout the days the hair is nice and like styled and shiny and it's frizz free and once I add the product I'm gonna go in one more time with the unbrush to really go in and clump the curls a really cute option is also to use your fingers to like finger coil the ends and allow it to dry or even diffuse it and that gives for a really pretty look and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side be being sure to really saturate the curls because again your install is definitely where you're supposed to put in a good amount of product that way throughout the week you can maintain with just water and you don't have to continue to add product every single day now that we added our product I went in with this diffuser from bedhead and I'm just gonna go ahead and dry the hair all the way around I like to lift the hair as I'm drying it to give the hair a lot more height and volume and again I love the length on this one I'll have the link and like all the details in the description box but I like the way that when it dried it gave like a thick full curly like kinky curly bob look like a long bob look and this is what it looks like once the wig is fully diffused. I was absolutely blown away because the curls give like natural, like realistic curls and it doesn't give like box curls. Here I am just touching up the hairline and making sure that everything looks perfect to my liking. You can definitely go in and do a different style of baby hair if this is not for you. Or, you know, you can thin it out with tweezers if it's too full. But for me, of course, it is perfect. Now I'm going to go in and tint the lace. I like to tint the lace so that everything blends and matches with my skin, but it also looks a lot more realistic in my opinion. I'm using a foundation cream in the parting, and this one is, I believe, in the shade 14 from Ruby Kisses. And then I'm using that same product along the hairline just to give a more um, like realistic look. I did not want to go in and tweeze the baby hair, but this kind of will give the, the illusion that it's a lot more like plucked than it is in my opinion. And then I went on top with the shade 16 powder um, to set everything and make it look perfect and I love 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 the way it came out as far as the hairline goes voila everything looks perfect I went ahead and switched my top so you can really get a good look at the hair not against a black top the one thing I did notice is that the curls in the front definitely were a little bit more relaxed so I did take this razor and I went ahead and just trimmed it down a little bit it blends perfectly but again I just wanted to make sure that everything was perfectly symmetrical when the curls are not clumped the length is perfect as you guys seen in the beginning like when you put the wig on everything is perfect but the way I diffuse the hair I think I just didn't diffuse as much in the front but it's okay because if I went in and shredded the hair I would like for it to have a little bit of layer in the front so this is going to work out perfect and then I'm just using a little bit of mousse to scrunch that back up because when you go in and like cut it it kind of will manipulate the curls now I'm going to go in and re-diffuse the front just to make sure that everything looks perfect and everything is nice and dry. I'm absolutely in love. I love the way this wig frames my face. I love the height and like how full it is. It definitely gives a curly girl vibes. Super natural and you know it looks like it's coming out the scalp if you will and it is a pre-everything wig. Here I'm going to show you guys what was included in my package. You guys know but Eunice hair is my favorite when it comes to the packaging. Inside they did give the adjustable elastic band which was not in my wig already but they did have it in the box 
Here are a few extra strips of that adhesive for the ear tabs. When you wash your wig, you can peel off the old one and put on a new one and it's perfect. They also included the HD wig caps and of course they say Eunice on them because they are their own brand. And then they also included a elastic band. I used my own. I already have many of these so I used one that I already had. And then they also gave us these nice pretty almond shaped press-ons in the color pink which is perfect to match their packaging and as I always say I love these little stickers they're perfect for this the everyday sticker collector and that is pretty much it I'm feeling myself I'm super excited I love 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 the way this one looks this is definitely a showstopper and the one that'll get you all the compliments I love her and I'm gonna have all the details in the description box including the direct link thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches